So there I was, December 31st, 2022. Washington Capitals versus the Montreal Canadiens. It's going to be an awesome game. Alexander Ovechkin was chasing down Wayne Gretzky's all-time goal-scoring record. The Washington Capitals were on a hot streak. The whole town's a buzz. It was going to be an awesome night. High energy, lots of fun, lots of entertainment. Hockey's just awesome anyways. I'm five rows up from the ice, so I can feel everything happening. It was a good game to start out with. Very competitive. It was actually even close into the second period. And then the Canadians started to fall apart. Their goalie started leaking like a sieve. But what does this have to do with Formula One? Well, I'll tell you. You see, Alfa Romeo has the same colors close enough to the Washington Capitals merchandise, red and white. A different red for Alfa Romeo, obviously. But to go with my Washington Capitals jersey, what hat did I wear? My one-of-a-kind Alfa Romeo Kimi Raikkonen Iceman hat. So I wear it to the game. And now the Capitals are kicking butt. So much butt, in fact, that Alexander Ovechkin ends up scoring himself a hat trick. The whole place goes insane. There's hats raining down from all over the stadium. They're falling on me. The whole place is crazy. Everyone's jumping up and down. You can't even hear yourself thinking there. So what do I do? I'm witnessing sports history. Sports history is happening right in front of me, and I'm a part of it. What's a hat? It's a hat trick. Ovi just did it. He may catch Gretzky. And off it goes. Huh? No! No! More hooping and hollering, more celebrations. Until a guy across the aisle goes, you know, that was a really nice hat. And I said, you know what? I can always get another hat. After all, it's just an object, right? I'm witnessing sports history. I'm a part of something awesome. I'm stoked. Hat schmat. My family is in shock. What a idiot. Hmm, Dad, you just launched a one-of-a-kind Alfa Romeo Kimi Raikkonen hat onto the ice. And then I see the sweepers come around and they sweep all the hats off the ice to get the game going again. Bye-bye goes my hat. Okay, that's cool. No big deal. And then the reality starts setting in. I just lost my one-of-a-kind Alfa Romeo hat. Give me a record of Ice Man. He doesn't race for Alfa Romeo anymore, in case you didn't hear. So the whole long drive home, all I hear is, Wow, Dad, I don't think that was such a good idea. That was probably kind of boneheaded, huh? Don't you think? And I'm like, you know what? Don't worry. I can always get another hat. It's just an object, right? Turns out, you can't get another hat, because they don't sell it anywhere. So, day after day goes by, me scouring the internet, trying to find this hat that's no longer sold. You can't buy it in the stores. So I end up having to go on to eBay, find a private seller in Germany, purchase the hat, and the guy was kind enough to pack it full of newspaper and stuff, so it didn't deform it or anything, but it was it. I had to pay double <laughs> for what that hat originally cost, but I don't care. Found it, got the hat. So next time you all go to a hockey game, don't bring your nice hats, especially these, because you never know when one of your favorite drivers ain't going to be there anymore. But you still got his stuff. Thanks for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.